say it. You've had say two it. Subarus and how many engines? This will be my third. Here, please have a Capri Sun. It's a lemonade. <laughs> I'm so excited. Thank we can't have alcohol on the show here. Oh, wow. I think yes, you got a yes, tropical yes, chide. Yes. Did you get a Capri Sun before I offered you a Capri Sun? Yes, sir. How'd you find that? <laughs> he threw it to me. Hey, there, it was. So I'm Nikolai. I basically ask people to rate their car one through ten. Okay. <laughs> and are okay. you ticklish? Very ticklish. Okay. My name's Jack. <laughs> okay. Hey, if you're watching this right now, thank you so much. I just want to ask, if you haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to do so. And if you could, please go check out martiniworks.com. We are actually just launched the brand. And if you've got an aftermarket car build, we want to hear your build thread. It takes less than five minutes. It means the absolute world. And if you're looking to pick up a couple products, we've got that too. Thank you so much for watching. Riverside 2023, we're starting it off with Capri Sun. All right, we have to open it with one hand really fast. I can't open it with one hand. No. 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 Work smarter, not harder. I'm trying my best. And just like that, folks. Crotch Mike. You beat him. And I wasn't even struggling. I wasn't rushing. This ain't no Pacific cooler, but it's lemonade and all. It's a nice. It's, it's a good. nice room temperature too. Yeah, it's definitely not cold. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's refreshing. Anyways, what are we doing here? We're at Riverside 2023, baby. We've officially launched Martini Works. Officially, super exciting. So what's I'm that excited. Mean? What's it mean? What's it mean for me? means that we finally have a website, mostly, I would say. We're actually introducing build threads. So we're bringing back the days of build threads. It's like MySpace, but easier. So what you can do is you can go and add your vehicle to the build threads. You can tell us all the stuff on your car, what you plan to do with it, share some pictures, maybe some blogs that you wrote, videos, things like that. And then the community can ask you questions. It can drop comments. You yeah, can rate neat. the builds. It's super cool. Our goal is to kind of build a community that helps people understand how to build drag, drift, show, and track cars. Jack of all trades. Just a jack of all trades. Bring yeah. back MySpace. Bring him back the days of MySpace. No, I like it. I like it. It's really unique. I've got to play around with it. I added my car myself to Did check you? it out, and I wanted to make fun of you about it, but it, was it actually, worked too well. It was actually really good. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. That means a lot. And we're doing this at Riverside, and this is both of your guys' first time at Riverside, right? Yeah. yeah. How do you, what do you think? Dude, okay. So, real be quick. Honest. Sweating more than I expected. <laughs> And the car show is better than expected. Even. Yeah, dude, the caliber of cars that are in this show make me feel like I should not be here with my car. Yeah. There are some absolutely insane builds here, like things I've never seen before. It's incredible. It's almost as if because there's no trophies at Riverside, more people come out with crazier cars. Because yeah, they're right, not dude. looking to like prove anything. Yeah. They're just here to hang they're, out. They're not trying to like stick to a certain thing to like win that specific trophy. They're like, no, nah, I'm gonna build the craziest no, thing they're, ever. They're just like, I have this car and, two, and I wanna show it. Yeah. One thing that I've noticed as well, like the 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 cars are great, right? But the people have been amazing, dude. It's this so awesome. Southern hus hospitality. <laughs> it's I real. Can't talk. It's real. Hus so hospitality. hospitality. There you go. Hospi Southern hospitality. Hus yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hell. Okay, we're working on it, but we've got a few pretty, pretty crazy things going. We've got your guys' cars here. How was the yes. drive down? You drove the whole way down here. Gels and I, we're trailer queens. Yeah, one yes. out of three here drove her down. Uh, you're going really to post on Facebook about it, how cool you are that you drove all the way down here? No. Okay, well. Are you going to post how cool you are that you had a Ferrari in a trailer? No. Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> all right. no, it went really good. Uh, we ran into a bunch of traffic. That sucked. But yeah. I was nervous because I put on brand new wheels and then immediately drove my car like over 600 miles. The great and, news, uh, you, you picked a great color for your wheels, which is oh white. My the great God. news is that he ceramic coated them. Yeah, yeah. I got road trip white. Um, <laughs> they were filthy. They were the, the wor dirtiest my wheels have ever been. And But they did they did clean right up. And That's the awesome. 305s in the back only rubbed a little bit. So. Oh. Okay. Heck yeah! And it you're went, running it static. I mean, you're yeah. you're low. Yeah, that yeah we're rear, talking a little bit. Rear, rear. Yeah, <laughs> that that rear is that, lo <laughs> that rear is chunky. It's hard Bro, to talk. Yeah, it's the know. heat. It's yeah, the yeah. heat. It's getting to the brain. It's the lack of What's water. What's the last time you drank water? Y yesterday. Oh, Wait, Lars. He just <laughs> had Capri Sun. <laughs> yeah, Capri yeah, Sun's yeah, got hydrate. water. Right? Okay, real quick. What are what are some of like your favorite builds that you've seen so far? Oh man, I think the one that I keep thinking of is that Toyota Century. I'm in love with those cars ever since I drove one and just like understanding what it is now and like how cool they are. Seeing that one, it's got like a custom painted valve cover, it's yeah. got intakes, it's got a bunch of like junction produce, like VIP stuff on the inside. So taking like an already yeah. luxury yeah. car and making it more luxurious, that's cool. It's so sick. What yeah. about you, Dakota? Oh, dude, it's so hard to pick, but one that I keep like going back to 
and looking at, and I don't know, maybe it's a little bit basic, but there's a new GR86, yeah. and it's like this yeah, green color, it. and it's on work wheels. Mm -hmm. Dude, I love the those cars. The color combo is crazy. I can't believe how much those cars grew on me, and I, I've fallen in love with them. And they're not rare by any There's a few of them. Yeah. yeah. And uh, there's even a Pandem Y-Body one and stuff like yep. that, but that, that green one on those work wheels yeah. just looks so yeah, they're, they're good. They're white Meisters, yeah. and it just pops so much. Totally agree. Totally agree. I would say my favorite one is actually just right up the road because Riverside, they're doing like motorsports stuff up front. So they got a bunch of actual oh, yeah. like, tuning shops and stuff. There is a Porsche Cup car over there that I just fell in love with. Yep. But the Time Attack All Carbon Datsun Z oh, yeah, that's has wild. my heart. That <laughs> is not that is not a show car, but it's like they say, you know, it every race neck. car yeah. is a show car. Not every show car is a race car. That thing, I think I saw it at PRI, too. So I know that thing just hauls, and that just looks so cool to be here. You can see so many people excited that it's not just show cars here too like they have yeah track it's cool cars they have imsa cars up there yeah. just yeah. full-blown race cars right like, off the track yeah, we here. walked up to her like we're pretty sure we saw this car race at laguna seca yeah. i was like i have a picture of it up yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> legit legit no it's been awesome the people are fantastic if you have not been to riverside you need to stop by you need to come to this event it's it's the best it's like the embodiment of you come for the cars you stay for the people you know? also there's really. really good tacos yeah like, the really tacos good. and a crab truck yeah, we haven't ate there yet, but I'm, I'm making a point to, to go to the crab truck. I've never seen I've never that seen a crab truck at a car show. I've never seen a lot of things usually here at a normal Usually street tacos and overpriced lemonade. Title of this podcast. Usually cheese curds. Yeah. The title of this podcast is going to be crab truck at a car show? Question, Question mark? mark? Exclamation point? No, probably point. won't be, but. Well, I think we should maybe try to see if we can get a couple people onto the pod. Yeah, bring them into the what, living what, room. What should we call it? I think we should call it the potty. The potty break. Potty, potty break. break. Potty break. That's Yeah, so just a nice, short, sweet interview. Yeah, I can go find some people. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh my god, you have your headphones on. Yeah, brother. the microphone's still with you, bro. <laughs> All right, up next, the man, the myth, the legend. I know ah. this guy. Of I know you this. Know I know this. <laughs> I know this guy. I remember being just a wee lad, yes. seeing a video on the internet of an Evo. I think it was an Evo 10 yeah. in the fall. There was leaves oh, on the, the lid. Dude, yes. Evo, Harold's it was Evo. your oh, yeah. video, and I was thinking to myself, this Dude. man <laughs> shoots magic. Yes. And here you are. That's like nine years old now. I had an old. Evo 10 at that time, yeah. Yeah. so it was like It was the video. perfect video. Oh, yeah. the video. Dude, Come you're on. still in it. You're still crushing it. For those Thanks. guys and gals that don't know, Crispy yes. Media. Bro, what are you up to these days? Well, I moved to Dallas, Texas from New York. Um, so we're in the middle of the country now. So yeah. It's easier to get a lot of jobs. America. I have a cowboy hat no, and, uh, uh, and a Dale jacket that go together perfectly. Do you have a cowboy I'm kind boots? of upset you're not wearing it. No. Well, I told my girlfriend I should have worn it. And she said, it doesn't really fit your vibe. And I was oh, like, okay. I get it. Mm. That's fair. Did the girlfriend that's check. Yeah, yeah that's, that's probably fair. a good idea. Yeah. To be completely honest, I don't know if we actually know how to dress, so it's probably good to have like, a little... I mean, when are we not wear wearing our own the clothes, same though? Thing yeah, now. that's we, true. We only ever wear our same, our own brand. Yeah, so. I mean, it's, it's just what you do. <laughs> yeah. And what are you doing here? Well, this is my first time at Riverside. I was supposed to bring my car, uh, but it go boom, so I don't have it. Subaru stuff. Subaru I, stuff. That was that was actually great to not great to see, but it no. was funny to see. Yeah, and oh. it happened on a TV show. So that's true. Best that's case scenario, basically, right? right? I mean, that if was you're gonna do it. And for those that don't know. Crispy, you were you were helping filming the stuff for Bang and Gears, right? Yeah. yeah Did you have an official title for that? Uh, important guy with camera. Because this nice. man, this <laughs> dude was everywhere. This yeah. guy was up at like five o'clock in the morning, and then I would go back to the back to the <laughs> bays to grab my car. Eleven thirty at night. Guess who's still there? This man is still filming. He's yeah. got cameras, Iron Man technology coming around <laughs> to keep all that crap on you, dude. Those are some long days. You were yeah. just pushing it. How was Thank that? You. Uh, it was cool. It was just the only downside was that for some reason in Las Vegas, it was freezing. It was like 30 degrees every day. Yeah. You know that. You were there. Yeah. Um, 30 degrees. <laughs> dude, it was not it was so that, cold. The week, at, the, the week that I was there was like February 10th to like the 14th. It was colder in Las Vegas than yeah. it was in Wisconsin. Yeah, I remember that. Didn't that, make sense at all. No. That but, normally no. doesn't happen like ever. <laughs> no, I no. wasn't expecting to have to wear more clothes yeah. in Vegas than before. Yeah. So you got the Subarus. On a little bit of a hiatus. Yeah, it's, yeah we'll But call it when that. you did have it, it was built. Yes. It was looking cool. Yes. It's blown I up. Love it. What are you gonna do now? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I gotta talk to some. I gotta talk to some sponsors because we, we just bought a house and doing some like grown up things, right? Yeah. So I probably shouldn't put Dang. too much money into that. Everybody's so, growing up. Yeah. So I gotta see what I can afford to put into that. Um, hopefully, if anything, just turn it back to what it was. Um, redo the turbo setup and the intercooler setup to run a full size. Uh, radiator in front, uh, move our turbo back to not just up in the grill for show. Yeah, yep. Make it a little bit more reliable at this point. 
um, and either put back in the same motor or maybe something a little bit more powerful, um, but then we got to worry about the trans, so we'll see. Speaking of which, do you guys know what made it go boom? What? Yeah, we... What made it go boom? IAG is doing a failure analysis right now. They oh, have the motor back gotcha. in Pennsylvania. Um, they're going to look at it and go, yeah, it's, it's effed. Yeah. Um, so that's that, uh, but we didn't have proper, um, we're assuming we didn't have proper oil pan for it. It was built as a show car, it was built as a SEMA a car. Yeah. So to go on a racetrack is not what it was intended for, and if we would have thought about it ahead of time, okay. I keep hearing okay. this scenario. Okay. Oil we star we have, yes. Yes. We have an important question. Yes. Dakota's most recent viral TikTok mm -hmm. or Instagram reel was on Martini Works where he says, stop buying Subarus because they do nothing pretty much but blow up. And then the owners It was a little bit say, of a hot take. Yeah, yeah they, they say that they're built to a thousand horsepower, but they're running 305. Hey, Correct? Yeah. Uh, is identical to what I said. Okay. Give me your opinion on that. Is it true or not true? Why do why do Subarus from blow up a all Subaru the time? owner? Yeah, give us I a don't take. Know. I have I have faith in it. Obviously, whenever I'm talking with somebody, I say, oh well, Subaru things like we get it. But I thought mine was built reliably. It, it did it served its purpose. People who built it did an amazing job. At the end of the day, what happened to it, what caused it to blow up, was us just not thinking to put in an aftermarket oil pan in it and proper baffling. Um, we had a killer bee pickup in there, but that got shredded to pieces. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm a, I'm a firm believer. I've had two of them. I've had. Multiple engines down. This one. I was just say about it. to say, you've say had, it. You've had say two it. Subarus and how many engines? This will be my third. But that's it's, it's par for the course, right? What do you mean? You're doing. Okay, I, I love you to death. You're doing. The we thing, do love though. you. You're doing the thing. Okay. Where you're like, it's not the car. It's, it's me. me. I messed up, <laughs> and that's identical well, we, to we what did I said. Mess up. It, no, <laughs> no. Well, but if I if I proper baffling the in there, we're chilling. You that shouldn't see, have to do that. Yeah, well, see, that's the you thing. can't drive the car in a circle. It's a 700 horsepower <laughs> car with oil going all over the place. Just, oh I, my you know, I'm gonna be okay. really. Okay. It, it is one of those things, though, Chris, where it's like, Every uh, how many times does something have to kick you in the nuts for you to realize? <laughs> Fair. Maybe there's other options out there that do so, it slightly better. The other option, I want to fix this and have it as my show car. Okay. All right. I have the minivan that gets me around. Yeah. Fits oh, all the stuff in the merchandise. Yeah. You Didn't know, blow up banging. ever. How many engines in the minivan? Uh, it's actually leaking a fair amount of oil. But? But it's still good. Sweat and horsepower. But the plan is to, we just bought a house. That was the first part of the plan. The nice. second plan is to buy a ring. And the third part of the plan is an AMG GTS. So like either it. by the end of this year or like early next year, uh, that'll be the move. You've got man's life got, goals on yeah, lock man, right man's now. Man's got taste. So, 100%. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, the begging gears job should break pretty well. So yeah, well, <laughs> buy, yeah. I should only buy a fun we car. Ju <laughs> we just need the show to get to the end result. I'm so excited, I'm excited to see it. For oh, yeah, I wasn't cool enough to get invited, but uh, I I'll have fun watching it. <laughs> so um, tell me, first time at Riverside, you said? Yeah. Yep, what do you think time. about it? So far, so good. I love the um, the venue that we're in. The lighting that's coming through this morning was really cool. And I've heard at night, too, or not at night, but at dusk when the light uh, gets a little bit lower yeah. again, we get some really cool shadows going through here. So I'm just going to chill. I'm going to kick it for like an hour or so until it gets closer to five. And then come back out and capture some slow-mo, you know, light leaks coming through and whatnot. The yeah. vibes have been great so far. I've met a lot of people that I don't normally see. Some friends down in the south. Super cool. So, yeah. No, I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm definitely I'm definitely enjoying it. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. I would say, too. I'm sorry. Go ahead if you have something to say. No, no, no. Don't let him talk. Don't let him no, no, no. talk. He talked okay, so talk crap about me. So yeah, here's no. the Subaru thing. That no, was okay. To be, to be fair, I am on Dakota's side with the Subaru conversation. <laughs> okay. But uh, when you're looking, I think the one thing that I've always found super interesting for me. Yeah. You've been doing automotive of content I would argue you're probably one of the first like almost montage production style car editors yeah, on YouTube don't, don't don't call it a montage why would you do that because I think I think about like Halo I, I feel like Halo <laughs> montages I think of like that yeah. day you yeah. know yeah you've done it for a decade just about I'd say just so, yeah. about a decade yeah there's so many people out there that want to do content that want to become a youtuber yeah and it's like they do it for a couple times then they stop and then they start and then they stop you've yeah. done it for 10 years how have you stayed so consistent for almost 10 years doing it yeah, well i crazy. would i definitely uh, attribute like a major part to that uh to buying a subaru so <laughs> if i didn't have the subaru that would probably you know I'd probably he would have been, he he been done with content on the second year <laughs> Bro, if you didn't have that Subaru, you could have like your fourth red camera. Uh, yeah, you're, right, you're right. Yeah, you're right. I do have two now, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, um, I, props to that. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's keeping things fresh is kind of hard. Um, okay. I would say so. So uh, every now and then I like to change up some gear, change up some lenses. Like I just swapped out a lens. I bought a, bought a lens, sold the lens for something else to give my videos a different look. Um, and then try to just put more effort into it than the previous guy. Not to say that someone else isn't, but 
instead of just going out and shooting a feature in one day, you know, spending it up between two days and making something really cool and storyboarding okay. it out ahead of time and going and sw scouting your locations ahead of time um, and just doing those like little shots that you set up for half an hour that's 0.5 seconds in the video, you know, but that person watched that one shot and like, oh damn, that was, that's yeah. the, that shot made that video, right? Um, that's huge. So it's that's trying huge. to find like the that's little awesome things like that. that. Yeah. yeah. Um, and taking the time to do those little shots, like whether it's a su suction cup shot or getting good audio for that, that car and that feature plays a giant role, plays a huge role. So, um, I don't know, trying to find those unique shots that you can put into your feature or put into your show footage. And a lot of people are, like nervous, like ask people to do something with their car at shows. Yeah. They're just like waiting for everyone to walk past them and then they get their shot and then they move on. Yeah. But like, I've gotten some really cool shots just by like asking the owner, like, hey, can you air that back up and down again? Hey, can yep. you get in and get out like three or four times just so I can get multiple angles? Yeah. It creates a little story within your montage that you can um, He doesn't make like it that word. That's a, <laughs> that you that's can just, a sensitive I don't know, word. It sets it apart a little bit than just somebody <laughs> gimbal shotting the entire car show, right? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So. No, I yeah. think it was really cool, too, because, like, we were just right over here, and you did that exact same thing. Like, there was a mom taking a picture with two, two uh, I'm assuming their, her daughters. Yeah. And he, like, got the shot of the daughters looking at the car, then immediately ran around to the window side, got the shot through the passenger front window, yeah. then came <laughs> back around and yeah. got a picture. Like, all in two minutes, you got four angles Well, yeah, because that looks like you have moment. a team of people doing that shot. Yeah, right? it's but just, it's just you. you going, whoop. You yeah. are watching a master. <laughs> yeah, <I> we're. <laughs> I, hey, I, I do have a, I have a question. Not to keep just pelting you with questions, but yeah. Subaru. As someone that makes these beautiful, Thank longer, you. short films, mm -hmm. how has short form affected that? And are you dabbling more into that now? Um, I'm trying to post almost every day, real wise, if I'm home every uh, day? and just edit something from like the archives. Yeah. Well, even if it's just like taking a clip from an older video sure. and putting it in a real form or something like that, just because it works. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It stinks because I just have some jobs where I'll only shoot vertical for that client, and yes. that like pains me on the inside. But that, I get that's, that's, I was wondering, that's yeah. the up and coming thing. So like if that or it is the thing, it's not even up and coming. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, if that's what's working, that's what you adapt to, and that's what you do. You don't say I don't want to shoot vertical. Obviously, I really don't want to. I'd rather shoot horizontal, fill yeah. my frame, and you know. Um, but adapting to what the people want and what's working, go for it. Like I, I put up a reel the other day that did like a crap ton of views, and that looks great having. A little million, like the one I saw of you, come up right. That looks really good. Um, <laughs> so I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. I'll still cut from reels from the videos that I shoot normally. So yep. I'll have both. Um, so yeah. Cool. Have good you? Uh, I mean, obviously you've been in it for a while. Is there somebody that's like shooting content these days where you're like, I really enjoy that person's outlook on content? Is there somebody that you're like, I, I like hmm. what they do? Uh, to answer that, no. Uh, I, don't I don't like it. When you're on content. the top of the mountain, <laughs> I, just I don't look down. <laughs> No, obviously, um, I don't know. I, there's probably other people too, like uh, dated out in uh, Australia. Josh, okay. Josh does some amazing stuff out there. Uh, his style is unique, and every video that he puts out is really unique. So I, I would definitely check out dated. And then obviously the OG homies, Mike Ozil, Anthony Halcyon. Yep. I got to give it up for them, of course. Absolutely. Um, but if you haven't if you haven't heard of dated, I definitely go check him out um, on the YouTube. That's awesome. Yeah, not awesome. to gas you up, but I'd say uh, Halcyon, Anthony, and you, Crispy, like that is what kind of shaped my automotive passion in the beginning. That's what I watched yeah. on YouTube growing yeah. up. Uh, so you, you guys are, I'd say, legends. Mm. Legendary. Thanks. Yeah. yeah you're very welcome. <laughs> I Appreciate just, it. You, you, you definitely set the bar, and I think one of the coolest things about your story, too, is it's not like a it's not like a, a bright flame, high heat, then gone, you know, which I think sometimes happens in yeah. this scene. Like, there's this huge noise, and then you never see him, you never hear about him again, or it, it, there's no consistency. Yeah. No consistency to see you continue to like adapt and move and change and be everywhere all yeah. where at once. You know, it's it is it's it's tough, man. Yeah. It's got to be tough. I've I've noticed. Sorry, that was loud. I've noticed like <laughs> that that peak or that climax of all the H2O videos I did, and then I stopped doing those because it got a little too hectic. And I've noticed a slight decline and like a plateau, but I'm okay with that because obviously like having the audience growing up and having people admire you and look after you and watch your videos uh, growing up is a great feeling to have and a great confidence builder to do what I do now where I shoot a lot more for clients that will never go to my channel. And people will probably never know that it was me behind the camera, but I'm okay with that because I kind of like those jobs more there where I'm working with more teams or other directors, or other people that are directing a project. Um, so even though like I have seen myself kind of go up and have that height and kind of plateau a little bit, like I don't yeah. have like a bajillion people watching every video now, but that's okay because I'm enjoying what I'm putting out and I'm still getting that client work on the side that a lot of people may not see. That's, um, that's important. So yeah, so obviously it's cool to have an audience. Obviously it's cool to have people watch your videos, but at the same time, if you take pride in your work and you're still getting jobs, you're putting yourself out there trying to get other jobs. Yeah. Uh, that's what's definitely, definitely important. Any, anything you want to tell the, the internet? Like any, any yeah. words of wisdom, would you say? Words of wisdom. Uh, I mean, if you want to be smart, 
if you want to be successful, if you want to look good, obviously, first of all, buy a Subaru. I knew and it. Second, go to Crispy Dot Store, grab all your merch. <laughs> that was the worst thing I've heard in my life. There's not times where he's wrong, but he was wrong at the beginning. He was right and at Martina the second works, half. And Martina works. There you go. Okay, he's See? awesome. Love Absolutely crazy. love this dude. Nice, that is a nice shirt. So thank you. Nice shirt. Thank yeah, you. We tried our real. hardest here. We tried to. We were like, we could make a black tee. <laughs> And we're like, what if we Are did bones? And we're like, holy shit. This is awkward. We right? can have shirts that aren't black? Yeah. No My girlfriend just talked way. me into doing like a, a, a tan crew neck. And I was like, actually, oh. this is pretty cool. Hey, yeah. uh, just going to say it. Maybe yeah. get a little more big boy friendly because I went and tried to buy a shirt and you guys didn't have 2XL. Oh, and, uh, oh we had like one or two. No Wisconsin. Sold out. No Wisconsin oh. sizes. <laughs> yeah, no Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah, can you get some like a Midwest section? Yeah, it's Midwest everyone size. fat in the Midwest? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You just called everyone whoa. fat in the Midwest. No, I'm just saying. You I'll know, say it. Everyone's fat in the Midwest. <laughs> Clip that. What that and no one can <laughs> drive in Texas. Get your stuff together. That is awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming yeah. on board, sir. We wish you the best of luck. If you guys Pleasure. are looking to check him out and all the content that he does, we'll put the description link below. And, of course, thank you so much for, for all the support. Thank man. you. And, obviously, best of luck with Martini Works. Your booth is getting bigger and bigger. We're getting more and more people here that I've seen in all of the shows. So best of luck in the future with that brand. Proud of you guys. Thank you, sir. Hell Appreciate yeah, of it. What yeah. a gentleman. <laughs> Bye, Subaru. We hope you're enjoying the podcast here at Riverside Chattanooga. Let us know in the comments if you want us to do more car show podcasts. And of course, if you haven't yet, please be sure to subscribe. We just launched Martini Works. We've got build threads over on the website. It'd mean the world if you do have a modified car. Once you're all done watching this, if you got a few minutes, add your car. It'd mean the world. Thank you so much. Back to the podcast. All right, we got two new guests. First things first, Sarah here. Please have a Capri Sun. It's a lemonade. <laughs> We can't have alcohol on the show here. Oh, wow. I think yes, we got a yes, tropical yes, chide. Yes. Please introduce yourself for the camera. Hi, my name is Sarah, known on Instagram and YouTube as Sin City. Okay, we got Sarah in the house, and? And I am Aaron. Uh, it's A.A. Ron on Instagram. It's A.A. Ron on Instagram. How are you guys doing? Are you enjoying Riverside so far? Yes, this is actually our first Riverside. We're really excited. You've about. never been here before. No, I've never been. No, never. never, never been. So you guys, I mean, you guys are all. For those that don't know, you guys are at like every Slammed Enough show, all over the place, all the time. You're doing stuff for Slammed Enough 24/7. You're running around like a chicken with your head cut off, either fixing the FDR <laughs> 7 that you got, or working at Slammed Enough Gatlinburg and things like that, right? So. For you, what's the difference being here versus being at a show like like Slammed Enough Gat? What's it feel like? What's it feel like to not work? It's definitely a different vibe to not work. I almost feel like I should be doing something right now. He's like, wait a minute, <laughs> somebody's got to be mad about something somewhere. <laughs> what do you think, Sarah? What's the biggest difference for you? She's it's trying like, to pick and choose what she can say. It's <laughs> difficult. It's like, it's enjoyable, but it's also... I don't want to say awkward, but yeah, I feel like I should be doing something. I feel like, I don't know, I'm like looking to everything about the show, like how our vendors set up, like how are things going? Like, you know, I do a lot of shows that aren't just slam enough based. Okay. And so I get a lot of input from all different shows and mm -hmm. I just like, it's just interesting to go to a show and. So you're kind of learn, work. you're learning about this show, kind of seeing how everything's set up too, because it gives you more information for the next show maybe. Yeah. I like like the business side of things. Like I like to pay attention to stuff like that. That's like, super cool. So. That's awesome. That's super neat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think Riverside, this is the first year that they've brought more vendors on board. Obviously there's like money coming through the show, which I think is good because it helps keep the show going. But like when you look around tons of cool cars, tons of different stuff. Do you have a favorite thing that you've seen so far? Oh, we haven't even done much looking around so no? far. We've just been seeing people we know and stopping and talking. Every and like 10 seconds. Every Literally. every few steps, see somebody we know and stop and talk. We couldn't so. even make it out of the spectator a lot and people were like, hey. can I have a picture with you guys? Hey. And like, I love that though. Like, yeah. that, like that's so like. We will I give you know. time to put the straw in your Capri Sun. I'm if so you excited. Like. You can just put the mic down. I promise I won't ask you a question. Hey, so Sarah, what are your thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Aaron, tell me. I know that you have an FD, but I don't know much about it. Tell me a little bit about your car. Uh, like you said, it's an RX-7 FD. Okay. Um, I got it a few years back. As soon as I got it, instantly Rocket Bunny RE kit. Oh, my gosh. Immediately. It's like lime green, highlighter green? Acid green. Acid green. It's a Porsche okay. color. It's a Porsche color, is it yes. really? I yes. did not yes. know that. Yes. Does it run? Uh, yes, Does actually. it drive under its own power? Yes. Aaron, don't lie to me. <laughs> 
Apparently. <laughs> I'm dead ass serious. It, it'll come on. And it'll what's on. what's in the engine bay? Uh, it's a 13B. Okay. Single turbo. So 13B is a two rotor, right? That is correct. Two rotor. Then 20B is three rotor. Yep. Okay, so on and so forth. Do you follow Rob Dom at all? I do. Dude, he's a homie, isn't he? he I, yes. <laughs> I saw that I saw that car banging gears in Las Vegas, and that thing was like a rocket ship. It's scary. Dude, he, it, he's pretty much like, I don't know, he's... The rotary I, guy. I would like to say he's an inspiration to all the rotary yeah. guys. He does it all. <laughs> totally agree. And Sarah, you have what? I know you have a, a SUV. What is it? A track hawk. Oh, you got a track hawk. Yes. So you're just like stomping everybody that like looks at you the wrong way on the highway. Uh, I try. <laughs> this SQ5 kept running away from me on the way here. Oh, uh, <laughs> no. Now, I am excited that you have the track hawk, but I'm going to be honest, it's not my favorite thing in the arsenal because you have an old Datsun, don't you? Yes. Tell well, me a little bit about it. So I have the 280ZX, which is technically like when Nissan bought out Datsun. Okay. So it's technically, you know, still has lots of Japanese, you uh -huh. know, made in Japan stuff on it, but um, it's got an L28. It will be 2J swapped okay. eventually. Um, the good news is you have a lot of time to do that, so I feel like you could probably get it done. I'm so impatient. Like next month, you know? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, like in the next two weeks, right? Yeah, totally. <laughs> that's how it, that's how internet builds work, right? That's uh, how it goes. Time lapse. You no. got you got aftermarket wheels on that thing already, though. You got like, what are you doing with that? Um, I have three piece Bradas. Okay. I rush had those made. Well. They're a beautiful spec. They're they're what I wanted, but I I was like, yeah, let's get these made because my goal was to have the Z in Gatlinburg last year. Uh huh. Uh huh. We all make this mistake. <laughs> yep. Me too. And obviously that didn't happen. So yeah. here we are, Riverside 2023. The Z still isn't done. <laughs> we'll we'll get there eventually. I got some VR forged that are over here working with Dan from Vivid Racing, and I got hooked up on some one piece forged wheels for the S2000. We have a K swap turbo S2000 oh, that we're wow. building. It's like 500 wow. horsepower. It's going to be a track car. And I'm like, Dan, I need these now. I need these ASAP because we were going to have them ready for Gatlinburg oh, no. of 2022. <laughs> and that did not happen. And the wheels are, three of them are still in the box. And we got to build the rest of the car here in the next four weeks. He's like, bro, please just build the damn car. I'm like, I am trying. I am trying. So for the old inter internet, what's one thing that you just like, that you're taking away from today? What's like one thing that you've either enjoyed or that you want to enjoy about coming to Riverside? I really like this pavilion setup. It's yeah. like open but closed. I don't know. I, I really enjoy the vibe that it's given. Yeah. I like that. Good vibes. Music's not like blowing or like in your ear. That's kind of been my favorite thing about being away from the music over there. It, it kind of gives you like grassroots vibes. Yeah. Even though it's clearly a big, a big event. Yeah. But yep. it's still giving me kind of like grassroots. Yeah. Vibes. They're not playing around. <laughs> Sarah, what are your thoughts? Can you put the business mind away and just relax for the rest of the evening, you think? My anxiety says no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Aaron, Aaron kind of stole my answer, but that's okay. Great minds think alike. It's definitely the beautiful weather, the vibes. Like, I love the the lighting is great. See, that's the business side of me. Oh, this would be great for pictures. <laughs> yeah, yeah, indirect light. <laughs> but um, it's just like nice. Like yeah. it's a beautiful day. Like it is. people seem happy people are just hanging out talking even the people working are they're just hanging out you that, know yeah. like it's just it's just happy it's like, just like a little bit more relaxed you know is. what i mean and i got one last question i almost forgot to mention this but you guys are you guys are in a committed relationship we are y'all work y'all work a little <laughs> bit together my ring. yeah where the hell <laughs> where's the ring bro Please. where's the ring <laughs> It's like the TikToks where it's like, is he taking me on vacation to propose or just because he likes me? And it's like continuously gets worse and worse. Do you guys have a trip planned soon? A vacation? Yeah. Okay, listen, we're going to Wyoming this year. And listen, Do you like Wyoming? I've never been, but I'm really excited because I like nature and the mountains. Okay, but listen to this. We're going to Hawaii in September. If you see Aaron? me in Gatlinburg without a ring, we have a problem. Hawaii or Wyoming. Wow, she did this publicly. I want, I want you to know. That as as an individual who knows both sides of the fence, she's gonna have her nails done for both of those <laughs> trips. So you best be ready to drop something between both. If you give her a promise ring in Wyoming, you're not making it to Gatlinburg, yeah, yeah. bro. <laughs> you're not making it to Gatlinburg. You guys won't see the RX7. That is so awesome. But any any aspiring advice for any other couples that that spend a little bit of time working together but also enjoy the same hobbies? Go first. I think we're lucky in the fact that we work together, but we really don't interact most of the day. Sure. Not that I, 
I love Aaron. He's great. He's great to work with. We bounce off each other really well. So I don't think we would necessarily butt heads, but I do think we live together. We have four pets together. We, we you know, yeah. in a tube shooting across the United States to go work a car show for 12 hours together. And then come back. It's it's great, but Aaron does a great job of always making sure I have food, I have something to drink. I'm stuck at the booth all day. He gets to walk around. He gets to sit down while they're judging. So you get, you're, you're supportive. You're yes. there, yes, yes, but yes. you don't need to be connected. Exactly. I was going to say that. Don't overcrowd, Yeah. but still be there. And yeah. He says, hey, are you okay? Can I get you anything? You good? You need a break for a second? You okay? See, that's that's the good stuff. The support flows both ways, yes, right? Yes, yes. yes that's well, that's awesome. Sure. Well, thank you so much for being on the podcast. I wish you guys the best of luck. Enjoy the rest thank of the you day. So See you, Sarah. See you, Aaron. Thank you. <laughs> All so we have the one, the only, Beezer Media. Scott. How's it going? How's it going, man? Did you get a Capri Sun before I offered you a Capri Sun? Yes, sir. How'd you find that? <laughs> he threw it to me. Hey, there, it was going to be part of the... I was going to be like, do you want a <laughs> Capri... You know what? No, Scott, have the Capri ha- Sun. I don't have a Capri have Sun. Have the Capri Sun. <laughs> it's totally fine. We all oh, have man. them. Sir, how are you? Pretty good. How are you? Good. I'm hey. Alex, by the way. Met you a few times, but nice to meet you. So, <laughs> shit. God damn it. I'm gotcha. sorry. I'm so That's bad. Always, I live in Wisconsin as well. Oh, yeah, you do. I remember this. <laughs> now it it's all coming together It's now? all flooded all right. back. The yeah. gates are open. <laughs> Dude, how are you enjoying Riverside? It's great. Uh, first time down here. Okay. So, uh, very much surprised at the quality of the cars in here. Isn't it wild? I can't. Uh, physically, mentally, uh, all the illies to like focus on any single thing (laughs) it's hard because it's almost like you get numb to it because every car you go to there's something unique or different or weird or like they put their own little personal touch on it that's what makes this just so freaking unique yeah and like the the indoor i thought was going to be a lot more like a higher class but then you go out to the outdoor section and and it's it's just as good just it goes just as hard yep pretty much so tell me a little bit about beezer media i've seen you all over the place on the old tic tac iraq you're not on tic tac you're you're blowing up (laughs) not really (laughs) yeah no you are but uh yeah it started when started out as a photography thing okay Uh, i had a focus st i wanted to um, I didn't want to pay for shoots, so and I knew I could do it myself, so I basically bought a camera and yeah. like started. I was like, oh, if I spend this much money, I book 10 shoots, I could pay for a camera. There you go. So I started. Um, That's a great way to look at it, too, by the way, I feel like, right? Yeah, yeah. so I, I bought my first DSLR, um, and then like the bug hit me, and I started just like, I, I enjoyed shooting other cars more than my own okay because i've seen it so many times i see it in the garage right i, t- I took a thousand pictures of it and then i was like eh, maybe i'll start doing <laughs> video because there are so many photographers yeah and then uh i don't know it just kind of snowballed what's like your uh what's your favorite thing about it what do you like to shoot the most what do you like to post about the most like what's your favorite what's your ideal media type uh i've really like stance was like really fun for a while, but then drift became just so much fun to Isn't shoot. It, yeah, <laughs> the energy. Yeah. yeah, there's. I mean, like this is the same. It's the same thing. The cars aren't moving. You got a bunch of people in the way, but nobody can go on track, right? <laughs> yeah. So, like drift is just a lot more fun to sh- shoot. Absolutely. Where do you currently? Where do you go out and shoot? Uh, US Air. Um, I've been there a few times now. I also fly FPV, so and they're not like super strict about it. So, that's super nice. And then uh, like. Just the culture there too is super fun. Is it? Uh, everyone's just everyone's there to help each other, and if if a car goes down or like a bumper flies off, everyone's there to help. So yep. I don't know. It's it's pretty sweet. Like you have that here too, but I feel like there's there's groups of people, and it's kind of more of like I wouldn't say clicky, but more you have like your core group of friends, right? Yeah. Okay. So, so the the drift scene, you just feel like it's a little bit more like open you're you're getting into the cars you're moving around you're doing a little bit more of the driving there's just more dynamics to filming drift yeah like you but you have to be filming the whole time otherwise you're yeah. not gonna stuff catch. happens pretty quick yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but sure. like when cars are cars are static you you can kind of frame things and not like panic as much when and you're not like just eating through card space sure <laughs> sure so that i mean it sounds like you spend some time in the in the drifting world do you do you do anything uh, past the grassroots, grassroots stuff? Do you watch Formula Drift? Do you watch D1GP? What do you... Well, I saw your beautiful face on Formula Drift just Aww. recently. So. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I do watch that on occasion when I can catch it. And then, uh, yeah, I 
I don't really like follow it too religiously. It's just like if I have time, I got a six month old now. So oh boy. it's like, oh, yeah. uh, congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's, that's fresh out of the oven there. First, first. <laughs> I gotta say it like that. First, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> First weekend away from her, so it's 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 been oh, bittersweet. Yeah, yeah, that can be hard, man. Yeah, I can only yeah. imagine. I can yep. only imagine. But hey, tell me a little bit more about you. I mean, obviously, you say you shoot a lot of content. You're doing a lot of good stuff. What about uh, future builds? You got any plans with cars? You got a little one. You're gonna go bag a E55 AMG. Like, what's what's the game plan for you? Yeah, yeah I sold my car to pay for doctor bills. So oh. it was. It was, uh, it was I mean, I didn't. I didn't want to show it as often, sure. um, because of the fact that, like, once you once you have a show car, you're like, you you ride that that line of like, do I want to drive it and have rock chips and yeah. deal yeah. with like the road yeah. trips and stuff and the wear and tear. Um, so it was, it was a. Uh, it wasn't just because of that. Yeah. Um, I just got a Tiguan, and that's like. That's an. Aw- that's. That's yeah. what I got now, and that's uh, I don't have any plans for it. It's it's all dependent on uh, the funds. For sure, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's so, so cool. So where yeah. can people find you? Uh, at Beezer Media. Okay. On Instagram, YouTube. Um, I do have a TikTok, but I never post on it. You gotta get on the. T- you gotta it. get on the TikTok. You want you want it to be banned, don't you? I know you? that my camera's set up for vertical content right now. I know. But I'm, I really I'm staring can't right at stand it. Yeah. Doing it. Um, it makes me mad. <laughs> Spoken like a true 33-year-old. Close. Damn, I was 30, guessing. 35. Oh, Damn it. You were close. Oh, you were really close. <laughs> That's awesome. That's probably man. the bags under my eyes. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Hey, congratulations on the little one. Thank you so much. Wish you must. Wish you must much success you on the content creation. Dude, it's the it's the water. Yeah. It's he the needs water. some water. He's fading um, quick. And I, yeah, I know the Capri Sun's mostly sugar. But we'll, we'll get <laughs> That's there. That's probably not helping in the no, whole. No, no, not, not even a little. It's unique just, New York. Yeah, yeah. yeah. unique <laughs> New York. There you unique go. New right, York. He's coming back. He's coming back. I wish you the best of luck, Scott. Hopefully, yeah, you if you guys are interested, we'll put his information down below so you can go check it out. Always support the grassroots local homies. I'm speaking to anybody out there. Follow doesn't cost <laughs> anything. Thank you so much, Scott. Appreciate it, man. Thank, Thank you, guys. You. All right, so we are here with an up and coming, dare I say, TikTok star. Hey, the man, yo. this is the guy, what would you rate this car out of 10? Right? He does yeah. it. Yeah. He Introduce does it well. yourself, sir. You crush it out there. What's your name? What do you do? So I'm Nikolai. I basically ask people to rate their car 1 through 10. Okay. And how's <laughs> that how, is. How's that going over here? It's going phenomenal. We've done a bunch of cars. It's been great. It's been I, really fun. I actually heard this morning we did a little episode. You were on like 55 cars, like an hour and a half in. Yeah, I think we're. Oh my god! We're this over, man's hustling. I think we're over 100 now. Are you really? Yeah. Yeah. That you filmed over what? 100 videos. Yeah, we'll probably be at about 200 by the end of it. Did you do every car at the venue? Probably, probably. because well, so understand. I'm asking you your favorite thing about the car and rate your car. So it counts oh, true. as two. True, true, true. So you true. double it. So if I did like 50 cars, that's like 100, 100 interviews right there. That is wild. That yeah. is wild. What a grind. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, how long have you been doing it? So I started, I think, in December asking people to rate the car, but I've been doing videos on YouTube for like seven years now. Okay. I've been asking, I really started interviewing people in the past year, I would say, okay. about car related stuff. But right now, it's been more so a shift from like, I used to do cinematic stuff to now I'm doing more. Oh, wow. Of the, you know, like, just, like community just, stuff? Just a human, yeah, like human interaction, community stuff like that. Because um, I used to do like car reviews and stuff, but I don't really think that's my place. I don't really think it's what I want to do. Sure. What is it, what is it that you want to do? Like, what's the. You know, right now, obviously, you're scaling, you're growing like crazy. I mean, is there a, a goal that you're trying to hit or is there something yeah. you're trying to do? I mean, as cliche as it sounds, I think it's the idea of like bringing car people together and to say that we're not here as like competition. We're here. It's just like we're just friends. We're all just hanging out. I think that's Damn. the idea of it, really. I like that. So, yeah, I'm asking you to rate your car one through ten. But ultimately, what it is, is just showing, you know, that we're all here together. We all love the same stuff. Like we all have the same passion. That's really all of what it comes down to. My heart grew three sizes when he said that, <laughs> like the Grinch. No, I'm just that, that was so nice. Uh, what do you drive? I drive an 8.6. What would oh. you rate it yeah. out of 10? Yeah, we, we Man, had to do uh, it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, you got but, it. Um, so it's, it's, it's bias, obviously, right? I'd probably put it at like a seven or an eight. Okay. But it's like, wait, 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 wait. It's all relative. If, no, no, no. If seven or eight wasn't an option, what would you rate it? If I had to put it at one number, yeah, seven, seven. Because All right. Here's the deal. Understand, I'm biased. It's my car. I love it. I know people don't really like the 8.6 platform. It's slow. I mean, I haven't done anything to the engine. I think um, a lot of people love it, man. Even yeah, if they're a little it's slow, a they're car. connected. Don't be car. down on yeah. uh, you're, right. you're right. You're right. You're right. You're yeah. right. The, the comments are going to try dragging you down. You don't need yeah. to do it before the comments do. You I know think what it's saying? a good platform. Yeah. Even though it's Subaru. I interest. could I could send oh, y'all a picture yeah. if y'all want to drop a picture of it. It's just a clean OEM plus build. That's all I want. It's my daily. It's my only car. 
Um, I can track it, I can take it to the mountains, I can also daily drive it, it's fine. It's not too loud, it's not too quiet. I love it, I think it's a great car. It was like my first car that I bought myself too, so awesome. I really wanted to keep it, make sure I did it clean and all that. That's so. awesome, that's awesome. You got a future car that you're trying to build or what? Yeah, so I just want to keep building it up, so I just want to get a collection of cars really. You know, I think long term, you're asking me like long term where I want to go with yeah. this. I'd love to get more into like YouTube long form and then do get like a warehouse where I can do you know, a lot of things with friends, like a group, group car stuff, and just really scale that. So I'd love to get like a warehouse where I can store like 10, 15 cars. That's and awesome. I think I'm just gonna, I wanna get a daily. As, as, no, you don't. As crazy as it sounds, no, I don't want get a daily. No, get, get a daily. I, no, get a daily. I want like a crazy, I want like a crazy normal. Like, we're, we're, we're in different sides of this. He wants, he says get a daily. It's life is more exciting without one. I so, agree. I mean, I did that, but so <laughs> I, I think you can have a cool daily. Like, let's say yeah, an, an M3 yeah. or an IS500 <laughs> or an ISF. Like, that's really what I'd want to lean towards. Damn, um, that's fancy. That's fancy. really what I want. Oh, that's fancy. That's, that's, daily. That's, I that's daily a Merc for Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't daily anything. I don't have one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, drive cars. Yeah, if you can, <laughs> if you can daily your your weekend car, that's also cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, no. Like, I just want to keep going up with it, but just. I love cars that just are fun to drive. You know? That's cool. That's all Absolutely. It comes down to. If it's Absolutely. a fun car, which most cars are, you know, enthusiast cars, that's all it really All matters. right. So you, you found a lot of success on short form content. Do you have any tips for people that, that maybe they want to make a TikTok or an Instagram and make some videos? Yeah, yeah. So obviously everyone says consistency is key, but I mean, you really have to knuckle down on cons consistency. So I yeah. ask literally the same question to everyone. It's the same format. So when you see the videos, you see, you hear the voice, you hear the same sounds, you hear the same format, you see it, you hear it, it's all the same every time. So if I show you a video, I'd be like, oh yeah, I've seen that video, even yeah. if you haven't seen that particular video. Yeah. And also for short form, it's really just like getting down to making a video easy to understand. That even comes down to just like getting background noise out of a video. For me, I do like the AI enhancement and I cut out oh, any blank space. So whenever you say like, when you're thinking, unless you're doing like a funny face or something I'd want to include, but if you're just like, hmm, I would cut that out. And really what happens is the video is extremely fast paced and what was a two minute video is now a 20 second clip. So really knuckling down on the consistency. So also the same time frame. So I, especially on YouTube shorts, I yeah. found that I have to post at 8 p.m. every single day. And if sure. I post, post so at- So late? Like, that's a late, yeah. that's a late day. Yeah. Cause where are you located? Georgia. Georgia, yeah. okay. That's a little bit of a different state. I don't hear a lot of people coming from Georgia yeah, in the yeah, car, yeah. car community like, scene. For sure, like I've really broke down the analytics and I found that posting on to TikTok, for example, it's great at 7.50 to 8 p.m. Sure. Um, in that range, closer to the 7.50 to 7.55 range. You might think I'm crazy, like other influencers out there no, might think. No, everybody's think like, got their own sauce, man. I, everybody does a little different. Yeah, I've just found that that's when, you know, the videos work best for me. And that's awesome. You really, I think the main thing is to find what you feel is you and what works for you and just to keep going with it because you know a lot of people think it's luck and I think it's like 1% luck but maybe 9% 99% is like just down to formula sure. you have to find yes. what works you have to find what's you and you also have to be unique you know if another person goes out there and asks people to rate their car 1 to 10 yeah that's cool they'll get views if they copy the format that's you know that's cool with me you know they can do whatever they want but ultimately it's just finding your unique style so you can show like your personality through it do you and, think do you think you'll ever change series or try to introduce something new yeah, so I have an, an idea coming up. Um, we're gonna do like a draft almost with cars. It'll be cool. Okay. We'll yeah, okay. We'll, we'll yeah, try we won't it out. make you spill the yeah, beans. When you, when yeah. You, when are you dropping? When are you dropping that? Do you think? I couldn't say. Probably within the next month or so. I just want to try it out. You know, the, the the key thing here is just finding you know stuff that works. So I'm gonna do one video, just you know, four four interviews with people. Um, we'll make one video, see how it does. If it goes viral on the first one, I'll keep doing it. I might do a second one depending on how it goes. Um, because with the Rate Your Car series, I posted one. I was getting like no views. Like I don't believe in shadow ban. A lot of people say it's real. I don't think it's real. It's not real. If you make I can tell you objectively that shadow banning is not a real thing. I thought I was shadow banned. My very first Rate Your Car video got 5 million views from there, and I've been averaging close to 1 to 2 million ever since then. And it's That's been awesome. since December, and it's very consistent. I mean, if you look at the views, you know, like I've become a big numbers guy with the, with the videos, and I found that you got to just keep it consistent. Right, sure. I'm, right now, if you look at it, I'm averaging 1.6 million per video. Um, wow. which is, it just shows that kind of like, yeah, like luck is part of it, but really if you get the formula down, like sure. you'll be sad. And what do you, uh, so this is your first time at Riverside. Yeah. Let's take, let's take the numbies. Let's take the Tic Tacs out of it. How, what do you think of the event? Oh, I love it. It's great. I what's love been, what's been your favorite part? Uh, I just like that everyone's, you know, it sounds so simple, but everyone's so nice here. Everyone's so Dude, open to talk. Legitimately you know? though. Yeah. Like genuinely, 100%. the fact that I can just go up to anybody and say, what's up, talk to them. Um, people that I don't obviously am meeting for the first time is the fact that we can go up to them and just talk to them and it's like pretty chill and everyone's open to like being asked questions you know if I want to ask you about your car um, 
there's not much gatekeeping here, I guess you could say. Sure. It's just like, what would you have done to it? Just tell me about it. I just want to hear about it. I just want to hear your story. Like, I, I, you know, sometimes it's not even about the car. I just want to hear like what got you into the car. Sure. What made you want to get a Supra? What made you want to get, you know, a Ferrari? Mm. Well, that's a great question. Sometimes I don't <laughs> even know. Yeah, well, answer that question. What made you guys want to get them? Yeah, to uh, Dakota, Supra, dude, it was, Toyota guy. It was tough. So I got rid of my Focus ST and I had that for a long time. And I've always been a guy like I'm not brand loyal. I want to experience a lot of different platforms. Good man. And things like that. Yeah, like front wheel drive, all wheel drive, rear wheel drive. I've experienced all of them. And I was really torn. I was on the other end of the spectrum. I wanted to get an imported uh, JDM RX-7 because it's a rotary. I've never yeah. had that. And, uh, but then part of me really wanted to get a newer vehicle so then I can take it to shows like Riverside Which and not awesome. worry about it, you know, and worry about maintenance or worry about trailering it. Like, I wanted to get a car I could drive anywhere. Um, so the Supra platform, I loved them when they came out. I was at the Chicago Auto Show when they debuted the FT1 concept, and I fell in love with that car. Such a cool it's concept, a too. Car. That concept there. car was wild. Yeah, and uh, so I've always had a thing. So that just looking at them and i was kind of torn between this and the nissan z at the time but at the time of purchasing this they didn't have a time for the nissan yeah. z so i was like all right super let's do it you have um, made you made yeah. a good decision with that i don't think yeah, i've heard of anybody that. on the b58 platform that's been like eh, not no, really it's my a phenomenal thing. car yeah. if you get over those guys that are mad about the bmw stuff it is a I'll hell you, of a car one thing i wish i don't know it would have probably hindered the looks but i just wish there was more visibility it's such, it's like a tank to me. I mean, yeah. it's like almost like a Camaro. Like it, ah, I wouldn't go that bad with it because my buddy had a Camaro SS, and that the visibility yeah. is horrendous. Yeah. I'd say it's a little better. I ruined it with the Street Hunter wing. I can barely see out the rear window. Oh, but yeah. I also have the premium, so I have proximity sensors. So like, if I'm in a situation where things are, cl it, the car tells me exactly yeah. where yeah. things. A damn radar Titanic. I still it's I, the the yeah. worst the worst car still to this day continues to be the Chevrolet Camaro in terms of visibility. Dude, they, those, they those are eight bad. pillars the, are insane. The window, to the windshield's like this big. Dude, yeah. it's it's terrible. No, I mean, for me, I guess it's just more about I really enjoy weird cars, different cars, and then putting a different touch on that. So, like, if I buy a German car, putting a Japanese, you know, aftermarket modification kind of touch on it. If it's domestic, going with a European touch on it. And then taking different generations of car themes and kind of meshing them together. So I had a 2001 Porsche 996 Turbo. We did more of a Japanese style uh, design on it. We put it on some Moton coilovers and then we put a livery on it where we wanted to say, if we took a design from 2001 from Porsche and it stayed on the car for 20 years, what would it look like? And then that's how we wrapped the car. So we've had different cars. I mean, I've had AMGs and Japanese cars yeah, and this car. I've been all over the board. I completely agree. You should not be brand loyal. but. It is really important to go out there and experience cars, and in my opinion, if you're going to talk about them. Like, if you're going to have history or education on the car, it is good to try and own it, try to try to get with it a little bit, so that when you do speak about it, you're not just speaking somebody else's opinion from, like, an article. You're speaking from personal experience, yeah. and I think that's a, a very important thing. You want to do something. This is what was interesting to me with car reviews is I felt like when I was doing car reviews, it was almost as if I was just, like, Siri reading out Google facts to you. Yeah, it's like, this <laughs> is a F-Series 200 horsepower, blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. It's yeah. just, like, that wasn't my thing, and it's just, you got to, I think, Experience is the main thing here. Showing your experience, kind of bring your personality out through it, is really the, the cool thing about cars. What's so interesting you mentioned about the whole Porsche thing, with my 86, I'm gonna get heated for this. Uh -oh. I know, I almost treated my 86 as like it's a base model, but you know I've done a little bit of things to it. Sure. Almost as like a, I don't know if I want to say a, a GT3 version of it. That would be way too much. But like almost like a GTS, just like a slightly improved version of the 86. That if Toyota offered a GTS, like almost how Porsche does, like. Uh, a, a Carrera 4S or just, you know, keep going up in the rankings. Sure. I don't know how high you would go with Porsche, but just the idea of like, okay, this handles better, it rides better, it sounds better. It's just overall, I've, you know, done some interior work to it. Mm -hmm. um, just the suspension. It's, it's on good, like my mentality with the car was if I'm going to modify or change something, it has to improve the car one way sure. or another. Why, gotcha. Whether that's through looks or performance. I think, I think the, that's a great way to yeah. modify a car. And the, so. the GT86 platform, I mean, I think a lot of the reason people enjoy it so much is because it's a very analog driving experience in a newer car. You don't get a lot with the car. It, the car forces you to drive it if you want to experience what it was built for. So that's why a lot of people enjoy naturally aspirated Caymans. And that's why they enjoy some of the non-turbo Porsche lineup is because for you to kind of get into the car, for you to really experience the car, you have to get on it a 
a little you bit. It's to, not a car yeah. that, that's going to give you all the power. One of the fantastic things about the Toyota Supra is you can make insane power with just a few mods. Simple mods, But with yeah. the Porsche stuff, you like unless you're getting into the upper range of the cars, you know, you do have to really get on it. You really yeah. have to, to drive it hard, and I think that's what makes it so much fun. But, I mean, with that being said, last last remaining words that you want to tell the old, the old Internet about your experience here at Riverside? I love it. It's fun. Get out and drive. Get out and talk to people. I think that's the main thing here. Just awesome. have fun. Just live your Love life. It. Do what you want. Love oh, it, yeah. man. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you so much yeah. for coming on board. We will see you later, sir. Adios. Thanks, man. Hey, and if you're still here, I just wanted to say thank you. From the team over at Martini Works to myself, we just appreciate you watching the content. Thank you so much. All the good stuff. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Can I, like, wave at the camera or something? Yes. You can do whatever you want. Do, yeah, be, be just super keep it awkward. Yeah. Okay. I would love that. Okay. So I have a question. First and foremost, what's your name and what's your social handle? And are you ticklish? Very ticklish. Okay. My name's Jack. <laughs> okay. Hi, Socials Jack. Socials are Icy, Icy media. media right there to the dome. Hell yeah, brother. And you make some, you make some heaters, right? They're all right. Yeah? Do yeah. you, what do you, well, like, tell me, what do you focus on? You short form, car stuff, vlogs? What do you do? I just see you everywhere. I'm more of like a short form, like hype, hype social media video. Okay, okay. I've seen you make some heaters at Gatlinburg with Those Josh Freeman. Edits go FD. crazy, brother. How do you do it? Uh, I use Final Cut for editing and I kind of just go with the flow, find the song, okay, and get into the groove. Okay. So do you, do you think the song first is the most important part? I think the song makes or breaks the video. Yeah? Absolutely. That's fair. That's fair. What do you drive? Do you drive something fun or no? I got a Focus ST. Gang. Okay. Dakota, just because he drives a car you used to own doesn't make you cool. Yeah, it does. Dude. No, it doesn't. This man, look at him. Just means He's we all have than... good taste. You have taste-ish. I would say like six out of ten. All right. Out of curiosity, what would you say like average time you put into a short form video? That's a good question. Added. Good question. I know it varies, but like average. Yeah, pretty, mm, i say two hours. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Two hours for a one minute. That's well, no, your, pretty video, impressive your videos for are like, probably like 12 five seconds. seconds. Two hours for five seconds. Yeah. But, well, they're pretty intensive. That's insane. He's taking hella forehead pictures today. Yeah, I know. Over 1,000 so far. Oh. <laughs> are you going to make that a video? Yeah, it's going to be a five second video of 1,000 foreheads. You see, you and Mario are going to get along great because back in the day, see, I remember, I've known Mario for a long time. He used to make long form videos 42 seconds long because he didn't want to finish the rest of the video. And I'd be like, Mario, you have to finish <laughs> the video. You can't make a 42 second edit 16 by 9. Now, that's all he does. And he's fucking blown up. And he looks at me, he's like, told you. I could have done I've done that since the beginning. I've been that guy. Yep, short form video blowing up, bro. Got this fucking tree. All right, so what do you got done to the focus so far? So far, we got wheels, bags. Oh. Ooh. Is it done? Are that's they already on? They're on. Okay, what do you got for wheels? <clears throat> I have some tandems. Kanse? Yep. Okay, Kanse tandems. And then you're on uh, airlift, 3P? Airlift, yep. Hell yeah. Any other plans for the car? Uh, For that car, no. Okay. Oh, for that car. You got you another, got another one? car coming? Yes. Nissan. What is it? An LS400. Ooh! Good taste. That's good taste. Good taste. Are you, are you going to slam it on its nuts, or what's the plan with that? I want to do a static build. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I like that. So you, you got an LS400, you got a Focus ST, you make five second bangers, and you make time to go to the gym. What do you do in your spare time outside of that? Eat a lot of chicken. A lot of chicken and rice cakes. Rice cakes and peanut butter, people, right there. Okay, on a scale, like, can you Are teach you me how to not make chicken taste like absolute dog water? Air fryer. Ooh. Really? See, I have one of those. I got to figure out how to make it work. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes there's too many buttons on this. All you got to do is put her in there. Like, 10 minutes? That is way too long. Well, that's why I'm asking. I like my chicken like medium rare, so I'd say like 30 that's seconds. That's not healthy. Like oh. five minutes? For like a pound? It honestly depends. You kind of just look at it as it cooks. Okay. All right. This what dude makes hell? some of the most viral <laughs> videos on I'm the sorry, internet. I'm You're asking to... him how to make chicken. I'm just, I'd like to okay. know. The recipes on Google are tough. I see. Give us some of the sauce, a little bit of the sauce. Like what makes a video go viral? What do you look for? Is it the car? Is it the people in it? Is it just the song? Like what are you looking for if you want to video to just go crazy it honestly depends it could be just the car but if you make a short eye-catching video that'll go crazy no matter what 
and don't be afraid to make it even five seconds. Five seconds is a great length. That's crazy. That's awesome. And you've done this for now how long? Three years? I've been doing it, yeah, about three years. Three years? Because I remember actually seeing you at some of the first shows. You were kind of just getting into it. And like, you're kind of... Bro, I see you around doing, the hoverboard. Is this yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just, like, I remember you were just getting into it. And it kind of felt like you were you're trying to figure out your style and things like that. Now you're three years in. You're all over the place. I see you over at the Vaded booth. You're shooting content with Josh. I see you got your own media company. It's only three years the in. The come up was crazy. Yeah, so, so like, what do, you, what do you want to do? What are you going to do with all of this, like, growing community that watches your stuff? The plan is just to keep growing, keep growing. I plan. I've been doing a lot more than just cars, like sports. Okay. I've been doing oh yeah, stuff I've seen like that. The University of Iowa. Okay. That's dope. And that's kind of the plan is just keep growing, do some more stuff for like companies. And you've done this. So that like the thing you gotta hear is he's only done it for three years, right? It's like I think a lot of people think, oh my God, it's, it's got to be successful overnight. You know what I mean? It's like sometimes you just got to be consistent at it because you got some wins, you got some losses, you got some everything in between. What would you tell somebody that's just trying to get into like short form content? What would be like your one tip? You definitely just practice, practice, and just keep going because everything, like you said, just takes time. Um, just like, I don't know, literally everything, like <laughs> everything just takes time. Yeah. Like the gym. You don't. You're not gonna grow overnight. It's yeah, I know. A while. Yeah, I know. I know about the gym. Do you? Yeah, you don't gotta tell me about the gym. Where? What do you mean? Where do you know? Oh, I. You go, been hitting crunch? Uh, <laughs> nah, dude. No, that that Planet gym. Fitness? That gym's lame. No, I I actually made my own gym <laughs> at my house. Anyways, so I see. Where can people follow you at? Uh, we got I. Literally all socials, icy media. Perfect. There it is. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, man. I Appreciate wish you the best of luck, on. sir. Good thank luck. You. Godspeed. We'll see you later. Hey, let's let's go hit up Jim. Holy <laughs> shit! What a time. That was crazy. Did you enjoy it? That was so fun. Dude, there's so many good people here. Yeah, it's it's so crazy to get so many different experiences. You got people like icy media doing it for a few years, going nuts. So then right yeah. next to him is is crispy. You got Chris just still hunkering out content. I mean, it's and so cool. Dude, there's so many people that we didn't even get the chance to sit down with. Right, yeah, like, I know I'd swap out for one of you guys, and, like, I'm talking to, like, 30 other people over there. Yeah. Like, it, you know, it's, it's like, so wait, I need a microphone. <laughs> I know, I'm like, hold on, can you, wait, like, I want to get you on here. If, <laughs> I think if there's one thing you can get from this and talking to everyone here is, like, the people are so good here. Yeah. It, it's yeah. such a like, good show. Everyone has such a unique story, too. Yeah. It's so awesome. Yeah, yeah. totally agree. And positive and outlooks. And yeah. yeah. I think I think it's, it's just a really comfortable place to be you. And yeah. I think that's what makes it so awesome. And, so yeah. and that's what hope, it should be. Exactly. That's what the car community is all about. Like, once you get into competition, what up? <laughs> How are you? <laughs> good. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Sorry. I'll be done in just one minute. I want to say hi. Okay. With that being said. See what we say? See what we're saying? <laughs> we got to go hang out with the homies. If you guys haven't yet, if there's anything that you take away from this, you know, come out. Enjoy Riverside. It's a fantastic show. You know, we just launched Martini Works. So if there's one thing we could ask you for, for watching this is if you got a car and it's built, share your story over at martiniworks.com. You can add your build thread. It takes less than five minutes. We'd love to hear how you built your car, what you did to it, and then other people can comment on it, ask you questions, and we'll use it, we'll use it yeah. for videos, we'll review it, things like that. It would truly mean the world, launching this thing again. It, it would, if there's one thing I could ask for, it would be that. So. Also, if you're enjoying us doing a podcast at car shows, I don't know how many other people are really doing this. <laughs> if you guys are liking this, make sure to let us know down in the comments below and drop a like and subscribe if you haven't. Cool. Gels, any last words? This is awesome, man. That's all I got. <laughs> I like He's it. He's right. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you later. Adios.